you. And Thank congratulations you. because you were just in French Row. Thank you. And Thank And we were really excited. This is a hat actually that I wore to a, a private event here, a very sophisticated event for saving Versailles. In, uh, and the Bill Cunningham photographed me in the New York Times wearing it. And also we had like, it was all over the blogs. And then uh, they borrowed it in the summer for, we had no idea we were going to do the cover. What was incredible, I mean, the cover looks uh, amazing, but also the inside, we were really excited because there's like two, two pages, this one here and then right here. I mean, and people have been like calling us and all our hats are like one of a kind because we, the, the shapes we can reproduce, but we always add an element, a, a vintage element, and that's why it makes them unique. And they all made here in our atelier. And right this moment is making me think of even um, New York skyscrapers. You can almost see kind of the skyline glittering along the, the edge of the hat here. I love I love the way you you talk about the collection. <laughs> like it's so poetic. It's like you're the best. <laughs> I well, I used to go when I lived in Paris. I used to go to the Prix de Diane. You know the organized by Hermès. It's like a horse uh, racing event. Yeah. And uh, the requisite was to wear a hat. Mm. And uh, I enjoyed it more than anything because you know it's like for me. The accessories are usually much stronger than a, a dress or an outfit, and it or it will like let's say finish the outfit in a perfect way. Yeah, these are called the bonbon. Mm -hmm. It's like candy in French, and uh, these are like what we I mean we sell the most. We have a corner at Bendels, and they've been flying out. They're also one of a kind, and they're very very easy to wear. Very easy to you know take. You know, even in your purse, you don't have to uh, like traveling with this. is not the easiest thing to do. So we're in the top floor of something the Optique on Bond Street. Yes. And tell us about this magnificent umbrella which you make in Paris. Yeah, outside of Paris. Outside small, of Paris? Yeah, in a small atelier. Actually, it's the last uh, atelier uh, in France that makes uh, all the umbrellas by hand. And what happened is I saw a movie from uh, Fellini with um, his wife, you know, working on the beach. Uh -huh. It's called Juliet of the Spirits. And they're all wearing umbrellas on the beach. And I got inspired, I did it sold out in a sea like this. And these are actually, they are rain umbrellas, but also sun umbrellas. And you know, it reminded me of women in Japan, you see them walking on the street or so. Yes. This is, was like, you know, uh, reminiscent of Michael Jackson, that's why we... Oh, yeah. Michael Jackson look. Yeah. We did the glasses for his last show. Salima did the, the glasses for Michael Jackson's last show. Yeah. What, and what, what, what glasses did you We made the unbelievable glasses with all the stones and everything. It was gorgeous, yeah. We made them with the Zaldi. I don't know if you know the costume design. He was the one who did the costumes for him. Amazing, amazing. I did like uh, the glasses for Bono. Uh -huh. Because uh, I had the chance to meet him, you know, in Switzerland. And uh, he even did like a whole video with one of my friends. The, the whole video. Which, 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 uh, which video did you? I'm trying to remember the name. It's a very famous one. Nick, thank you so much. No, thank you so much. It was <laughs> Too a pleasure much fun. to have you. You're amazing. And you looked amazing in everything. My God, hats, glasses. I'm so happy. It, it, this is the place to come for, for, for vintage, for Salima's own line of hats, of, of glasses. So make sure to come to 7 Bond Street. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.